In this video, I'm going to show you how you can solve this 3x3 three three system of equations using Kramer's rule. And the first step is we need to get a series of essential matrices, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing we want to do is turn it into this form. So we're going to have an AX equals B system. So the first thing we need to do is look at the matrix A. That's going to be composed of all of the coefficients. So for example, we've got 2X plus 3Y plus 1z so we're going to have 2 3 1 on the top line and then I just do the same thing for the second row and then the third row just taking the coefficients that's going to be multiplied by a vector simply x y z if you multiply that out using the matrix multiplication rules you'll get back to the left hand side then we're going to take our matrix b and that's just going to simply be the 10 15 and 18. We then need to get a series of matrices. The first matrix we need is A. We already have it, so that's done. We're going to get this AX, AY, and then AZ matrix. And the key for this to simply understand a quick shortcut to doing this is I sort of imagine that the first column is like my X, the second column is like my Y, the third column is like Z. So if we want the AX matrix, I'm going to replace all of the first column, which I think of as like my X column, and I'm going to replace that with the contents of B. And then I'm going to fill in the remainder of the matrix with everything that's left in A. So I've got my AX matrix. For Y, remember I'm thinking of the first column as X, second column as Y, the third column as Z. So I'm thinking the middle column I'm going to think of as my Y, and I'm going to fill that with the B. And then I'm going to fill in all of the rest of A into there to get a y then for a z i'm looking at the third column which is like my z column the way that i think about it and i'm going to replace that with b and then i'm just going to fill in everything else that was in matrix a so we have all of the really important matrices that we're going to need to be able to use kramer's rule to solve this the next step is very simple we're just going to find the determinants of every single one of these matrices so i'm not going to go through step by step how to do a three by three matrix determinant if you don't know just look it up it's, it's very very simple i'm going to assume that you know how to find a determinant so we would simply just find the determinants of each of these so we've got all of the determinants like so, and this is going to be the essential result in order for us to apply some rules to get the solutions to the equation. So let's remember the determinants that we found. Then we're going to use some simple formulae. So the X solution is going to be the determinant of our AX matrix divided by the determinant of A. And we can substitute the values in that are given and then evaluate it. We get a simple number. Then for Y, it's going to follow a very simple pattern, which is just your determinant of Y, a Y matrix divided by a determinant of A, and then you get a solution for Y, and then you can probably guess what the equation is going to be for Z. Very simple. Substitute in your values as before, and then you get your solutions. Of course, you should always take your solutions and back substitute. If you substitute these back into the equation, you can confirm that they are indeed the solutions given a small amount of rounding, which we've cut this off as two decimal places. So hopefully this is helpful to you and you can now see how to apply Kramer's rule to solve a simple three by three system of equations. If it was helpful, please comment below and like and subscribe for more of this. Thank you very much for watching.